Hey y'all, so today we are gonna be talking about My Analytics and Outlook. If you haven't started using it yet and you're in the Outlook environment and you're all about productivity, you're absolutely gonna love it. So yeah, let's get into the good stuff, y'all. My name is Melissa Peoples. I am an executive assistant coach and trainer, and I promise that's the thing, it's what I do. And so today we are gonna be talking about my analytics and Outlook. I absolutely love this tool. One of my top videos on my YouTube channel is how to analyze your executive's calendar. That was made two years ago before they came out with this tool. If you haven't started using it yet, you do not know what you are missing. It is absolutely amazing. So let's head over to the computer and get into it, guys. Hi everyone, I am thrilled to be talking about My Analytics. If you are a Microsoft fan and you love productivity, this is the tool for you. So I wanted to show you the top five reasons on why I really enjoy this tool. Number one, it provides data-driven insights. So often we look at our calendar or our time management or how we focus in on meetings and we're making a lot of assumptions but my analytics actually provides the data behind the habits that you're actually doing. For example, when you analyze your habits, you can find the gaps so that you can increase your productivity. If you don't know where you're starting, it's hard to know where you're gonna go. One way that I think this is really beneficial is if you tend to reply to emails during meetings, the My Analytics tool will actually track that for you and let you know that you're actually not leaning into the meetings. If you've never seen that data before, you may not know that was an issue for you. Number three, it tracks your patterns. So you can easily track your patterns and you can learn how you work through weekly digests. You can have an email sent to you every week that will show you how you're moving towards your goals, how much time that you have to focus in, how many quiet days you have, how much collaboration that you're doing. So there is a lot of data to help you track the patterns and close the gaps. And number four, it will help you focus in on the deep work. There's a few options, but my favorite is that it will automatically schedule time on your calendar. I've chosen for it to schedule one to two hours every single day, and it's going to track if I'm actually doing that or not. And number five, my analytics will provide suggestions, task reminders, data, all suggested by AI. So it's really learning how you work and then giving you suggestions to increase your productivity, your focus, and your energy. So now that I've given you an overview, I want to show you the four things that my analytics is going to track. So my analytics is going to focus on four things, your focus, your network, your well-being, and your collaboration. Let's think about focus. My analytics will let you know how much of your time you are spending actually working versus how much time you're doing other tasks like email management, chat, phone calls, all of those things that are not productive to actually getting the work completed. Then it's going to give you suggestions on ways that you can increase your focus and your productivity. Number two is your network. It can compare your active collaborators. You can see how your collaboration and your network has grown and people that you are currently connecting to. On top of that, you can also identify people in your network that are important for you to stay connected to, and My Analytics will actually track the emails that you send to them. It will remind you when they've sent you an email that you may not have responded to. So this is one way to make sure that you're not losing track of those really important connections. Number three is well-being. I actually really enjoy using this well-being tool. It really allows me to determine if I have enough downtime, it will show me a calendar on the days in the last four weeks that I spent without connecting to my email outside of working hours, and I actually find it really useful. And number four is collaboration. So this actually tracks how much time that I'm spending collaborating with my colleagues or with team members that are really important to me. So I'm so excited to show you my analytics because if you are trying to increase your productivity and you are in the Outlook environment, this, in my opinion, is a game changer. Simply go to the portal.office.com to sign in. And once you've done that, on the far left, you can click on this icon and open up your app. And then from here, you can click on all apps and my analytics is right here. This is the dashboard. 
You can also get to your dashboard when you're inside Outlook by clicking on Insights and then you can click on this dashboard icon. It's going to open up the same URL. This is the dashboard that is going to centralize all the information and over here on the left, if you'll notice, these are the four areas that we went over just a moment ago focus, well-being, network, and collaboration. So right now I am on the home page and it is showing you my patterns for the last four weeks. A couple of things that I would like to call out, this is going to look different from you from the very first time that you use it and it is definitely worth coming back here to keep track of your progress. So as you can see, I've spent 76% of my time in the last four weeks, I have been able to focus in on the business. For me as an entrepreneur, this is really critical because I am working really hard to get things off the ground. This one is my well-being. I have network and collaboration and you can deep dive into all of these. So let's start with focus. So as you can see here, I can deep dive into my trends, how much time that I'm spending where I can focus or how much time that I can spend collaborating with others. So there's a lot of really great information for you to be able to make this work for you. Next, let's look at the well-being. As you can see here, I've spent five days in the last four weeks where I have been able to be completely disconnected. And then down here, I can actually see a calendar of how I connected in on my weekends. So this is really important for those of you that are working to drive better work-life immersion or integration. On the left, you can see what I'm getting interrupted with the most, whether it be emails or meetings or chats. And then down here, I can see what documents I worked on in the weekend. So these are really great tools to help power my data-driven productivity. All right, so let's look at networks. Now, I think this one is incredibly impactful. And if you are an executive assistant or a CEO or just an entrepreneur who's really trying to be intentional with your time and, who, and how you are investing your time, this is an absolutely powerful tool. So based on people that I have identified as important, my analytics will go here and determine how much time I am spending with specific people. So for example, overall, these are my top collaborators, all the way from 18 hours down to two hours. And then as it goes out from two hours to an hour, and then so on and so forth. So this is really helpful for me to determine if I'm spending the right amount of time with the right people. These are my active collaborators. Maybe I wanna look at my external collaborators. So this is going to remove anyone that's inside of your org and will only focus in on those outside of your business. Then there's new. So these are people that I've recently connected to and then there's important. These are the ones that I've said is really important for me to connect with. Further down here, I can look and see how much time I'm actually spending with these people on a weekly basis. So this one is really impactful for me because as I mentioned earlier, I'm trying to get a lot of things off the ground as an entrepreneur with my husband. And so we have spent an average of 18 hours a week focusing in on meetings and I really appreciate that data. Going forward, I can also see how much time I'm spending with everyone else and if it's the right fit or not. Down here is some AI powered suggestions from Outlook so that I can see if there's anyone else that I want to add to my important list. The other thing that I really appreciate about this tool is that it will analyze your calendar and let you know that if you have not had a one-on-one -on -one with someone that you have identified as an important person, recently, then it will set that up and send you a reminder that says, hey, you haven't met with Sam in the last four weeks. Would you like to schedule a meeting? So there's all of these great tools that are powered by data and AI. And then let's look at collaboration. So for those of you that are working to build your business, I think this is a really great tool for you to use so that you can build intentional habits. And this is actually one of the things that I think can really drive intentional meeting culture. So on average, on the last four weeks, I have been able to spend 76 of my time focusing in on the business. And then from there, it lets me know what else that I'm doing. So I've spent 6% of my time on emails, 18% on meetings. So here I can drill down to see how many meetings I attended in the last four weeks and what I did in the meeting. 
So I think this is really impactful because for me, I try to do a couple things to drive intentional meeting management. As you can see, one of them is that I think it's really important that my meetings have agendas. And if you attended any of my other sessions, we talk about that a little bit. And then the same thing that I'm not doing other things while I am in meetings. If I'm going to take the time to meet with someone, I want to make sure that I'm really leaned in and I'm not multitasking. And so for me, this is able to track and let me know how well I'm doing or if there's a gap there that I need to fix. Then if you want to drill down even further, I can see when I'm sending a lot of emails, when I'm reading my emails, and when I'm chatting. This information can be crucial to help you drive those communication habits and making sure that you're focusing in on what you need to and when. Okay, so let's hop over to Outlook so that we can deep dive there. If you notice in your toolbar, there's nothing there. So you actually have to click onto a email for it to show up. So if you click on an email, then you'll notice right here in the top right, Insights comes up. So if you click on Insights, then it's going to bring up all of this wonderful information. Okay, so let's deep dive into this a little bit. So let's click on this top one. So you can actually create a focus plan in Outlook based on your own priorities. Now you can ask it to automatically book your time or it can send you a reminder and ask you if you would like to book open free time in your calendar. Now for many of us that are very used to time blocking, this may or may not be a tool that you like to use, but I actually love it. So let's book some time now. Okay, so one of the things that I absolutely love about this is that Insights will actually make sure that you have one to two hours of focus time every single day. Now, if you're anything like me, those are generally in my mornings and my afternoon, but if you are someone who has meetings and you're not able to batch your days yet, this is a great way to make sure that you're getting the time on your calendar. Another wonderful thing is that it automatically puts you on Do Not Disturb in both Skype for Business and for Teams so that you can limit the digital distractions. And then if we want to change it, we can simply go to the settings. All right, so let's go back. Now let's just say that you only want to get reminders. If you don't want it to book for you automatically, you can click the reminders only and then you'll just get a pop-up. So let's start to add some important people. These are tasks or unread emails of people that I have said are really important and I don't want to miss. So let's look at what that looks like. So Outlook has basically analyzed my inbox and my sent items and has noticed the people that I've been contacting quite a bit. And so I can simply go through here and decide. I know that for sure I want to mark a few of these as important. and then the rest I can dismiss. Okay, now I can look at my outstanding tasks and there are some tasks that you may have missed or if you've sent an email and you just simply forgot about it, this is a great way to catch up. So I'm actually gonna go through these really quickly. Okay, so I actually already have this as a task. So I'm going to dismiss this one and then this one I'm gonna mark as done and this one I'm gonna mark as done and this one I am just going to dismiss. So this tool actually will remind me of things that I've asked other people to do. So if I click on it, these are different emails that I have out that I'm either waiting for something, I'm waiting on something from someone else. I can click here and say this isn't a follow-up, I can mark it as done, or I can open this up and then actually just reply to that person and ask them if they have a, a status update or whatever it is that I need to email them. So it's a really great tool to use to help drive your productivity. So this is an email that I got all the way back in December. For this example, it shows me my active collaborators, which at the time I had 30 people that I was act actively collaborating through email. Then down here, it gives me more information about how many times I met with them. Then this allows me to identify those that I am contacting quite a bit, if they need to go in my important person section or not, then I can also figure out where my time is going and stay tuned for weekly summary. So I actually use this all the time. Okay, everyone, so I hope that I have convinced you to love my analytics. 
just as much as I do. If you have any questions, please reach out. I would be happy to connect with you. You can reach me on my website at melissapeoples.com and I will be doing some Q and A's. So make sure that you check the schedule and we'll sync up there. Hopefully we'll see each other on social media. Thanks everyone, bye.